This is upper prep A and B of Bishop Westcott Boys School. For classes upper prep A and B, Mrs. Leblon and Mrs. Smith will be teaching these classes. And uh, I just would like to brief you on the way and the strokes, the way you have to do your handwriting, cursive writing. We are presently following Marion Richardson's script. There are different kinds of scripts in the English writing as you will find on the computer. If you check, there's Vera Foster and various types of scripts on the computer. But we are following Marion Richardson's, uh, which is a very simple script. And remember, all the strokes start from the uh, line below, from the uh, blue line. And they go upwards. So I will just show you. I have previously sent you assignments, but you need to see how it is written. And don't uh, try to put extra curls and curves unnecessarily. So I will show you some of the letters. I had grouped them into letters that fit between the blue line, letters that touch the top line, and letters that touch the lower line. So I had divided the letters into different groups. The first group was letters which are between these lines. And if you notice, the letters are always being formed from the lower line. Okay? This is how you will be forming the letters. Always they are coming, you are touching the blue line and going upwards. Do not try to write it this way and put a line that way. I, we will immediately know it and it will spoil your speed also. So don't try to write a C and then put it that way. So this would not be the right thing to do. Some of you also write an A this way. You write the round and then you are putting a tail there and another thing here. So that would also be wrong. I have I am come here mainly to show you that all the letters have to begin from the line blue line and then go upwards. So you got A O C E I M N U V W X R is written this way and S. Note S and R. These two letters are very often mixed up. So these letters are coming between the blue lines in the middle. The next we have the letters which touch the lines above. You have the letter L, the letter B, D, H, K, okay. See these letters are touching the top line above. You have letters which touch the line below. J, G, Y, Q. See these letters all are touching the line below. Z. Okay. These letters are touching the line below. There are also some letters which touch both the top line and the bottom line. Those again I try to group together along with letters that we very commonly uh, mix up with. We write in such a way that they look very much alike. 
for example you have the letter uh, b which very often you come confuse with f if you don't write it in the proper line see for the letter b you written b this way and f touches the top line comes down below and then goes that way so if you bring the uh, b too much down it will look like an f and if you take the f stick it up on top it will be looking like a b so we do not wish to confuse those two letters you also have the letter k see how it is formed all are coming from the blue line and going up that way k then again h p so you notice these letters it is important the the line on which you form them and also the stroke do not try to write the letters in a different way now some are also you have uh, yes the letter z see small z how it is formed do not try to write this z like this this is print some people may be saying oh if i write it this way it is the same thing if i write it the other way it is the same thing it is not it cannot be the same thing it's a different script print is different and cursive writing is different cursive writing again there are different types of scripts and we have chosen marian richardson as a type of script which everyone follows and it is not very difficult it's not very difficult okay now another important point is the number part numbers we all know the numbers they are very easy 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now these numbers all of you must must have learned in lkg and all of you know it but there may be some children who have joined late and so you need to see how these let numbers are formed some of you form the number 4 who have studied in different places they may have come here and they write number 4 like a triangular type of form which can be later if it's not written properly it will be you write for this way and it can be confused with Nine later, number eight. Do not write it this way. Eight is like an S, and it goes up. Many of you write eight in this manner. Another number is number seven. Number seven, you will write this way, and you cut it. Seven. Write a plain, simple seven that way. So these are the right ones. 
and if you write 1 in this manner, it can be confused with 7. If you write 1 in this way, sometimes you write it in such a way that we are doubtful whether it is 1 or 7. So you write 1 in a simple 1 stroke that way, this way. Okay? So 9, 8, 7 and 1. Now these numbers you will be writing it whether it be in the form of 17, 18, 19, 20, 80, 90, 100. All these numbers, this numbers 1 to 10, writing in the proper way is very, very important. So I have given you the numbers on top, the way it should be written. And I showed you how to form them when I am writing it on the board. Cursive writing is very important for uh, all your subjects. And if you learn the right strokes and write it in all the letters, joining each other to form words, they, all the letters seem to be holding hands. Like how friends hold hands and stand in a circle or friends hold hands together and walk. The words also hold hands and the letters hold hands and form words. The next word you leave space and again those letters hold hands to form words. So this you need to remember that the letters have to hold hands and stand together in cursive writing. And they need to stand on the line or like how you are sitting on the bench or you are sitting on a chair. In the same way, remember the letters have to sit on the chair the way you are sitting. Don't make them dance one letter that way, another letter the other way. Or falling off the line or going up to heaven. Okay, so the letters have to remain seated on the line and if they are forming words, they have to hold hands together and sit together in one word. So this is the important thing that you need to know about cursive writing. I had also given you some words for spelling. I had given you words for spelling and uh, I had asked you to do the work in different copies. The check copy is to be used for maths and number work. In the maths and number work, I had given you uh, numbers to write from 1 to 100. Also there were written words I had given you, 1 to 10. Then again I gave you 11 to 20 written words like E-L-E-V-E-N, right up to 20. Then I gave you 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All in written words. But after you learn these very well, then only we will start writing 21, 22, 23. In that way, we will go on to 100 slowly. But the main thing is to learn these three groups that I have given you in writing words. Also, uh, I request all parents not to rush the children with their work. I had given instructions to do a little at a time. Little at a time. And don't do the same thing all the time. Now if you take up writing, you only do writing, the child will be completely bored. So I would like you parents to please change the activity. If you sit down to teach your children for one hour in the morning and perhaps you sit down for another one hour or one and a half hour in the evening when you are free, whenever you are free, whether it be afternoon or evening, but you give them about two and a half hours time throughout the day, at least two and a half hours time. But don't bore them with doing the same thing the whole time. Uh, do a little at a time as I have instructed, three to four letters, four letters 